friends, in this webinar, we shall discuss how to identify jaundice in preterm neonates. Nearly three-fourths of preterm neonates develop jaundice in the first week of life. Jaundice may be identified on clinical, that is, visual assessment of the neonate by doing transcutaneous bilirubin levels or by measuring total serum bilirubin levels. In order to identify jaundice clinically, one should examine the baby in bright daylight. Alternatively, the baby can be examined in white fluorescent light. Make sure that there is no yellow or off-white background. The neonate should be completely examined including the palms and soles. Examine for jaundice by blanching a small area of skin by pressing it against a bony prominence and by inspecting the sclerae of the eyes and palate. Visual assessment of jaundice should be carried out as frequently as possible during every examination of the newborn during the first week of life. It has to be remembered that visual examination does not reliably identify the severity of neonatal jaundice and hence any jaundice identified on visual examination should be further evaluated using transcutaneous bilirubin or total serum bilirubin estimation. Transcutaneous bilirubin or TCB measurements beyond the first 24 hours of life correlate reasonably well with serum bilirubin estimation in premature infants particularly for the two widely used TCB devices in practice that is the Billy check and JM103. A TCB reading more than 3 milligrams per deciliter below the phototherapy threshold for an infant which will be discussed in a separate webinar on the treatment of jaundice in preterm neonates could be considered safe for not initiating phototherapy in an otherwise well preterm neonate without the need for TSB estimation from the laboratory. On the other hand, a TCB reading falling within 3 milligrams per deciliter below the threshold or a TCB reading which is greater than or equal to the phototherapy threshold needs to be followed up with total serum bilirubin estimation. For example, if a neonate's bilirubin threshold to start phototherapy is 15 milligrams per deciliter and the TCB value is 11.5 milligrams per deciliter, one does not have to evaluate further or start phototherapy. On the other hand, if the TCB value is more than 12 milligrams per deciliter, one has to evaluate further using TSB that is total serum bilirubin and decide accordingly. Decision to start phototherapy would then be based on the TSB value. TCB performed with both common devices, Minolta JM103 and Bilicek are reasonably accurate. It is recommended to obtain serum bilirubin level in the following situations. 1. Any visible jaundice in the first 24 hours of life. 2. Beyond 24 hours of life, any clinical jaundice evaluated with TCB and when TCB levels falling within 3 mg per deciliter below or greater than or equal to the threshold for phototherapy needs to be followed up with total serum bilirubin. 3. Any clinical jaundice in a sick preterm neonate also requires testing. The definition of a sick preterm neonate is shown in the slide. 4. During phototherapy and any subsequent measurements after stopping phototherapy to look for rebound jaundice. Thank you.